Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now, a couple people have been asking to see the, what's going on on the other fronts in the world, so we're going to go a little overview really quick. We're going to start in the north here. The Finns are doing pretty good. They do have goals now, so they're moving a little bit quicker than they had before. Uh, I basically just told them to grab a couple points way up north, hold a line right here, and move on Leningrad, although... I don't know what's going on here. It looks like they got the shit kicked out of them there, unless they have... unless they... You know what, it looks like a lot of their units are really low, so they probably... I don't know, maybe they're reserve units who need to, to build up. That's, that that could be it right there. This is our pocket right here, the Privet Pocket. We are reducing it. It's doing very well. Things are pretty slow in the south because it's a secondary front. I don't have the strength to push. They don't have the strength to attack. I mean, they, they try, but they get slaughtered in the attempt. Uh, Bulgaria and Romania and Hungary and Italy are doing an amazing job with Turkey. And actually, the, the, the idea of this many troops coming up through Russia here, that excites me. That that could be a huge, huge boon for me. Uh, North Africa, silent. Gibraltar, under attack. Under pretty good attack, it looks like, too. For them to be taking heavy losses like that, their organization's probably pretty low. I wish I could actually see what allied battles were doing. Uh, nothing else is really going on. Italy's got a good portion of Africa. Saudi Arabia's not really doing much. Uh, I might be able to get the Italians to come in here and help. Japan, not doing much. I mean, I could try giving them some some war goals. Let's see what they do with it. We could we could try. I don't know if they'll do anything, but we'll try. We could. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we tell them to take the Philip? Well, no, not the Philippines. Um down here. Uh, Japan. Just give them these goals. See what they do with it. Gobble up those resources. And that one. Alright, so let's see what the Japanese can do with that. Alright, we are going to continue reducing this pocket. It's August, so this is probably going to be the one of the last things that happens during the war. Some fighters. Uh, do we need to put them anywhere? Yep, right there. Those guys. So that's what's going to be the focus of this episode right here, is reducing this pocket. It is August 5th, so we do have some time left before winter really kicks in. And, yep, we can throw a lot of people into these attacks here now. Yeah, this is not going to be too bad. The smaller this pocket gets, the more difficult it is go going to be for them to to keep it uh, keep it up. So you just attack all of you guys right there. Yeah, and these attacks are going to get easier and easier and easier. So we're going to be fine here. Soviet divisions are crumbling around me. Love it. I mean, I can try to push up here a little bit more. We got a really nice spot. Uh, over up here towards Leningrad. I mean, I'd like to expand it a little bit more, but gotta do what we gotta do. I'd really love to surround Leningrad completely, but that would involve the either me moving troops out there or the Finns getting their heads out of their butts. One or the other has to happen. These guys... Who's, who's losing organization here quicker? I mean, I'm not losing it very quickly. 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. All right, they're moving it at about one. Okay, they're losing it a lot quicker. At this point, I'm just basically throwing everybody I, buddy I have into every attack, trying to get this done as quickly as possible because I want this done before winter really sets in. I'm gonna actually do this right here. That would greatly reduce the the threat. Oh, a lot of fighters just finished. Thank God for more fighters. We're gonna need them. Alright, there we go. You were actually doing poorly? Send you down here to help. Thank you. Squish all these Soviet defenders down. 1-1, one, one, good. You're 
going there. You guys are heading right in here. Battle's just about over. The experience my generals must be racking up right now has got to be through the roof. I really, I mean, they, I think they hit the mountains, which is slowing things down. Maybe supply issues is slowing things down, but they're doing good. Overran Turkey. Love it. The Marines are getting hit pretty hard over here, but I think they'll survive. They will. We have the Berlin to Minsk night train event, but I'm actually going to wait for this pocket continental military power to happen to us. National manpower modifier up. Leadership modifier organization regain rate up. That's pretty cool. Regional air power. We lost the effects of regional air power. Land power. Oh, maybe Continental replace the two of those. Mobile unit training. I bet that's what happened. I bet Continental power replaced the other two. So we're going to squish all this stuff down. And what I'd really love to do is get this all squished down in a nice one pretty little pocket. So we can really see what's going on. You attack here. I don't know if they'll have too much luck attacking across the river, but... Oh! But they retreated. They retreated. That makes sense. They didn't realize... They realized it was a, a position they couldn't keep, so they retreated. Alright, let's do this. Like, these guys are not needed on the line. So you know where they're going? Right here. We can move them up help in Leningrad, because as this pocket reduces, we're going to need fewer and fewer troops to keep it up. All right, you guys are fine. Doing good, doing good. I mean, I don't want to attack into the marshland just because it'd be suicidal at this point. They still have full organization and everything. Well, they might be... I mean, they might start be... No, they still have supplies. They still have everything they need. So you're attacking there. Good. Should throw someone else in there. Now, what's going to happen is when uh, winter starts to set in, we're going to hunker down in our defenses. We're going to switch it all to uh, defensive. Armor, you armor unit training organization for my armor units. Ooh... Would you look at that? A whole bunch of heavy AA just came off the list. So who needs heavy AA? I mean, it's not like these guys are quick. Engineer. Yeah, you could use it. All these infantry divisions, these regular ones, these event spawn ones, kind of suck. Well, they don't suck. They're just not great. They could definitely, definitely, definitely use it. Not the, not the orange ones. Those are ones are going to change later. So, like, I just gave it to this guy right here. Didn't reduce his speed. Well, no, the pioneers, the engineers, are the slowest guys there. So yeah, that's fine. These get uh, the four for black ice. These things are a freaking must. At least this version of black ice. You gotta, gotta, gotta have heavy AA. Because that's the only thing that's going to, you know, really pen some armor. Funny that the uh, anti tank guns aren't as good. I mean, I'm sure later on they'll be like upgraded to like 128 millimeter. You know, mammoths, but but in, I hope I didn't double up on some of those. I don't think I did. I got more coming off the list. Navy coming off the list. A lot of stuff. Even the, the carrier air groups are coming off. Some Waffen SS divisions. Nice. Motorized regiments. Those motorized regiments are going to get attached to my Panzer divisions. Looking forward to that. Those are going to make them much more combat effective. Attack from all the Whoa, who are you? You kind of suck. Ooh, we won that battle there. Nice. Victory march. 
Who else is here? What are the, that must have been an upgraded division. You guys can just move. Well, we can do this. Squish them. Or we could try to squish them all down into Hommel. That's a thing. Alright, you guys got to break. Yeah, a lot of these units are going to break, and then they're basically never going to be able to be combat effective ever again. Light infantry should be pretty good at attacking into the Martians. What I'd like to do is try to threaten the Martians so they pull out of them so I don't have to really fight through them. That would be the best thing for me. I don't want I don't want to reduce this into multiple small pockets. I want to reduce it into one awesome pocket. So much experience for these units. So much experience. Yeah, look at these tanks here. Experience of almost 80%. Yeah, they're moving troops up towards Leningrad. I see it in whole, whole well, I see army command structures moving up there. I don't know if it's actually the armies. Keeping that up. Look how, you know, look how close we settled into Moscow, too. These guys right here, the 12th Panzer Division, is one, two, three provinces outside Moscow. And that was a, that was a massive land grab. That was huge. Two, ma like, the first pocket was like, I was like, I was, when I made that, I was like, okay, that's a big pocket. And then when I had the opportunity to create this one, I was like, what am I doing? doing? I was like, this is fucking huge. Alright, pull out some more infantry. Let's move them all up here. Just because we can, we don't need them all up there anymore. We do not need them all sitting there. So you guys attack this way. Well, you're not attacking, you're just moving. Squish out, squish out this pocket, squish it out. I mean, I mean, if we tried to attack, I think we would take, you know, it would be really ugly. That's not that bad. We could always, I mean, we could always try. We could always try and see what we could do. If we could push them out of there without too many casualties, it won't be that bad. It's really not terribly... It's not a crazy idea. To be able to push through there. And we might be able to do it. I think we can do that. I've been recording for hours, so I'm drinking tea now. So I don't lose my voice. That would be terrible. Yeah, move these troops up here. I mean, we could try to push right here. I mean, this is kind of a this is kind of a bulge that doesn't necessarily need to exist. So why don't we? I don't know. A lot of these guys are a little. I, now I remember why I wasn't pushing right there before. A lot of these guys are really low on organization. But I mean, a mini pocket right there with these stacks, hundred thousand men. All right, these guys, we lost Tim again. Tim is right over here. So the province of Tim fell. Ooh, these guys took some heavy losses. It's okay. That's okay. Hmm, should we upgrade? We can upgrade these guys to armored engineers. Well, maybe for the winner. Now, when do I get to... Hmm. When do I get mechanized infantry? Is that under infantry? Mechanization of infantry? There it is right there. Should be this year. Well, I, I could have been researching it before. I'm assuming I put it near the top somewhere, but I don't see it. Ooh. That's going to be useful. That's going to be very useful right there. So let's do this. I'd love to up upgrade some... Oh, it was almost finished. All right. Because that's what I think uh, my panzers could really use, is mechanized infantry. I think that would be the best thing for them.
That should help out, right? Alright, so they abandoned that province, which means we just move straight in. Uh, we can, we can, we can just do this. See what, how well it goes. This one's probably going to be the worst. Or this one, maybe. Eh, these guys are pretty... This, uh, democracy installed Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia fell. That's unfortunate. That's a little sad. But now that open that that allows Italy to go right in there, so we could go VP VPs. And we can do this. Italy's already got that one. Oh, they already got those two. So, I mean, now they just have to walk across. That's a lot of divisions. Attacking one Panzer. That's probably this guy right here. Yes, the closest one to Moscow. All right, why don't you fall back? Uh, there's no point in letting yourself get slaughtered there. All right, so you need to move up here to help this guy out because he's not going to last forever. Although we do apparently are... We have a piercing attack of 38 and they have... Our, oh. I think we finally, I think all of our units finally have. Well, you can attack that guy right there. Finally have 88 millimeter anti-tank guns. 88 millimeter flak 36s, yep. All right, we're gonna break through in the Pripyat Marshes here, so it's not that bad. I mean, uh, that's that's across a river into a forest. So that's probably be pretty ugly. Attack. 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 All these trucks are. Oh, oh, mechanization of infantry. So we could buy build mechanized infantry, mechanized infantry attachment and half tracks. I like that. Now these guys don't have too much to do right now, so they're just gonna hang out over here. But they are off the production queue, which is going to free up a bunch of other stuff. These guys are pretty bitchin'. Those are some good units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which means I must have uh, HQs available over there for them already. All right, so let's uh, let's keep reducing. Keep reducing this pocket. Boom! Across the river. Easy attack still, even though it is across the river. But these guys have a lot of experience too. They've been they've had a lot of combat. Yeah, look at that. So this 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 winter is going to be a lot of constructing infrastructure. I mean, um, look at the supplies though. I mean, even right now, even with all of this, clearly not infrastructured. You can, you can definitely see that one. Uh, the supplies are still getting through pretty easily, even with this huge Soviet bulge in the middle. I'm going to probably make this a little easier for you guys by reducing the opacity. I mean, you guys might not even notice it, though. Yeah, this is going well for me. I could probably do it quicker. Ooh, off SS. Cool units. These guys are going to be pretty good units. I mean, they're going to need some upgrading because they've been on the list for a while. But infantry, uh, rocket artillery, anti-tank, armored cars, heavy AA, uh, engineers, and trucks. Going to be good units. And you are a good unit as well. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could use one more thing. What could you use? Got commandos sitting here. Where you, what, what is this? Uh, fascist militia and police. Roland Battalion. How about you? How about you attach yourself to the Lair Division there? I want to get you into some combat. Attack. Attack. 
Yeah, there's a lot of Soviet troops there. I'm surprised that they're actually managing... Well, maybe it's because this pocket is reducing so quickly. Oh, that's the one we retreated out of. That's fine. Maybe it's because it's reducing so quickly that... Wow. That things are going so swimmingly for me. So I think I have four more right here. All right, so let's rebase you guys. We can have six there. Uh, four... Two, ten. There we go. Except, move you guys right here. Damn it! I should have. Re I should have. Uh, because I'm reserving them. I should have done reserve on at least one of those guys. Whoops. Except these guys are probably a little racked up right here. Ah, eh, not too bad. Making progress in the Pripet Marshes. I could reduce this pocket quicker. I could. But I'm trying really hard to squish them all down into one pocket. Into one province. And then crush it. I mean, we could try to squish them all down in the Hommel, and then just blast the fuck out of it. That would be easy. That'd be pretty easy, actually. I mean, we have to try to squish all these guys out and squish these guys down. Could do it, though. I mean, these are not very good units, so they're probably that's probably why they're not very good at attacking here. In addition to their uh, debuffs to terrain and things like that. To 2,600 to 11,000. I don't see, because th this is the thing, is it's, it's it, I can see how many troops were surrendered. That's not even keep, keep, you know keeping track of the combat casualties they suffered. Right, now, let's see here. We can. You will be available for an attack in 30 hours. 30 hours, so we can do this right here. Did our units arrive up towards Leningrad yet? No, they have not. This guy won. We eliminated those guys right there. Nice. Kind of need some heavy reorganization later on, aren't we? I think we are. Heavy, heavy, heavy reorganization. Oh, under attack? No, can't attack. That's what it was. Let's zoom out real quick. Making more progress. Overran that that VP. There's one more right here. Should do the trick. I mean, as soon as they grab that, Turkey will surrender, and then they can move up into the Caucasus. Alrighty, so let's keep squishing them down, doing the best we can. I'm gonna grab the infantry. You're gonna attack right there. Move there. You're gonna attack there. Squish them on down. We gotta attack here. These guys are about to crack. That's good. Alrighty. Can you think we can get them all in the Hommel? Or should we... Pro or, or maybe... I don't know. Huh. Not exactly sure if that's going to fly. Hey! The Finns are moving up. Well, they moved up and then they disappeared. Maybe their units got wrecked. And I, oh, yeah, you know what? I, now that they're... Un, I think they needed to mobilize was the thing. I think that's what happened. I think they desperately needed to mobilize. Doing good, doing good. There we 
There we go. Attack. Push those units out. This is an ugly one right here. They've got a really good defensive bonus there, but we'll we'll get a, we'll get up and around them, and we'll be able to hit them and, and push them out. Do we? Okay, you guys merge, merge. Oh, these are some pretty awesome units, so they need. Well, they probably need better leaders. Well, that's a good leader, but what about this guy right here? He's not too good. Could definitely use someone better here. Skill level three. Ooh, here's a good one. Ooh, that's a guy. I like him. You guys. Well, yeah, let's get him in on this. Let's bring him. Let's just redeploy them right here to Smolensk. There are a lot of Soviet troops here. I mean, they're trying pretty hard in some areas to break through, but it's not really getting them anywhere. Ooh, shit, look at these guys. Heavy casualties. Only point... Oh, we're losing organization pretty quickly there. 31.5 and 34.8. Yeah, they out-armor us here. We could always do this. Launch an attack into their into their flank. And that'll relieve them. Just like that. They lost a Turkey lost an escort. Alright. Relieved those troops. Perfectly fine. Uh, spotting and naval doctrine. We can take that off. Come on, take that last victory point, and it's yours. They're on the Turkish or the, the Russian border now. The Bulgarians are on. Oh yeah, look at the Russians. They're pulling troops down there. They are definitely pulling troops down there. Home front focus, less manpower, but supply production, provincial AA, and repair rate. And you are gonna swing down to the bottom, get put together there. Probably squishing them into Hommel is probably not the best idea, just because it'd be difficult combat. I don't think, I, you know, it's 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 just too difficult to do that. Get them all into one pocket, it takes too long. Because, like, we can easily attack Hommel from multiple directions. And probably reduce it without too much trouble. Are we ever going to win this battle? Are they going to fight to the death? Lost a transport. Not a big deal. Yeah, this is, this is kind of like the biggest stack right here, I think. Definitely very large. Maybe a slight armor advances. So those five regiments of light tanks will get upgraded. Or amphibious tanks is what I meant to say. All right, so now we'll be able to hit this guy, and then we'll be able to hit that guy. So let's grab one, two, three divisions here, and go like this. Push all these units out. Reduce the pocket as best as possible. Come on. Come on, guys. Just You're not even attacked. There's one guy there. Do it. Do it. Ha ha ha. Soviet land occupied by the, by, by the Bulgarians. Go Bulgaria. Little tiny, tiny Bulgaria there. Proving to be a big menace to the Russians. Get that going. This should be a pretty simple attack. Yeah, these units are going to break and run pretty quickly. Now, this is something I don't know. When you capture, like, command units like this, do you capture the commanders or do they go back into the pool? Yeah, look, there goes Hommel. With basically no effort. 
do they go back into the pool? Like, if you capture one of their major generals, like, like say that we captured Zukov or something like that, would he go back into the pool, or would he be a prisoner of war and be removed from the game? That I don't know. 42s, all 42s in here. Finally got our officers back up to just about 100%, which is good. And we've made it through August. So it's approaching. It's a. It's not there yet, but we're approaching the spring, the the spring, the fall, the autumn. So these guys, what we could do here, take one of them, reserve. Take the other one, air intercept, full range during the day. That should make these guys pretty effective. How are we doing over here? Doing fine. All right, we won the battles in the swamps there. Now these guys, if we attack them, we can push them this way. I'm trying to make sure that I can actually push these guys out. I want to squish them all together down into one. I just want to see that huge number. I know it's not as effective as it possibly could be, but I just want to see it. Attack modifier, defensive modifier is pretty good here, but I want that province. What we can also do is this. And hopefully that'll get us enough oomph here to crush the reds. Might do it. Might do it. Three on eight. Ooh, those guys are going to get wrecked. Yeah, look at the damage done. Pockets almost reduced. It's very small. I mean, we're, we're doing a pretty good SS mechanized infantry. Activate. Annexed Iran. Operation Pastorius. What the hell is this? Which is a very bold plan to sabotage a maritime industrial base. Well, Yamamoto of Japan put forth the notion that a sustained war with America cannot be won due to their broad industrial base by sabotaging key targets in America. It's going really hinder the ability of the American industrial base. Oh, was this the um, dropping off German agents by U-boat in, like, New England thing? Light funding, medium funding, heavy funding. Do it. Capture Soviet equipment, break it up for scrap, because probably, chances are not going to use it. Chances are not going to use it. That's kind of the way it works. All right. We've almost reduced this pocket. We played up into September, so the autumn is encroaching. Bulgaria. Go Bulgaria. I know it was Hungarian and Romanian and Italian allies as well, but good job, guys. Well, it looks like the Italians are moving in units over here. Take out Saudi Arabia. That's good. If they would just attack, it would be fine. I don't know why they don't. All right, everybody, we're going to end this episode. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. If you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus, please. Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.